I'm a firefighter. Speaking of which, I'm a fighter, firefighter in Australia. And in the time I've been in this job, I've been to several jobs that were very challenging. I've entered burning homes to extinguish fires and search for residents and their pets. I've searched for victims during times of flood and helped people evacuate their homes in times of natural disasters. I've attended car crashes and cut victims from vehicles and pulled deceased people from others. I've, I also know that I'm not alone. I am aware of the fact that while I've been doing this, countless firefighters around the globe who are thousands of times braver than me and have done things that the vast majority of the population would not be capable of and that doesn't even acknowledge the courage of our police and paramedics and our military who step up day after day to do what has to be done because of if not me then who my question is this how do you suggest those in the front line deal with the trivial issues at home I attended a very severe car accident, a head-on collision with a school bus full of children and another car. Thankful, thankfully, all the children in the school bus were okay, but it took us three hours to cut the driver from the car, and she had very serious injuries and was airlifted to a hospital. When I got home that night, I was confronted by an upset girlfriend who wanted to talk about some extra, extraordinarily trivial issue, which I struggled to listen to. The whole time she was talking, I just kept thinking about the job and making sure I'd, I'd done everything I possibly could have for the driver. But I was also aware of the fact that my fiance's problems are important to her, so I need to be supportive. I listened for as long as I could. <laughs> I listened for as long as I could. Then, unfortunately, I just said, your day could have been a lot worse. No one spent three hours cutting you out of a car, so be thankful. I know I can't be alone on this. I know police, paramedics, and the military would be suffering the same thing. How do you suggest is the best way to deal with this? Check. So it was always, always my goal to protect my family from darkness and evil in the world. Mm. That includes these kind of things. You want to shield them from this. Now this doesn't mean to keep them oblivious. You don't want them thinking that the, the world that you've created for them, that's well protected and secure. You don't want them thinking that that's the way the whole world is. You don't want them thinking that. But I sure didn't throw this kind of stuff at my family on a regular basis, but I took pride, and I think that that's the answer here. Take pride in letting your family or your loved ones live in worlds where their trivial issues are the most important thing in their world, the most impactful thing in the world for them. Okay, so that's that's number one. Mm -hmm. And if you get yourself a little bit of of satisfaction every time your your significant other complains that um, you know the the ice machine isn't really working up to full speed it's really horrible mm -hmm. right yeah. you should you should be proud think to yourself yeah well you know what let me let me take a look at it yeah. maybe there's a kink in the water line I don't know <laughs> but we'll try and get that thing up to speed yeah. so you can have cold drinks cuz that's where I want your world to be right I want you to have plenty of ice yeah, yeah. So for your drinks or whatever. Uh, so that's that's it. If you can if you can put your your family in that kind of a protected environment, you should be proud of it, and you should be. And the way they indicate that to you, they don't say, "Hey, thank you for letting me live in a protected environment." They don't say that to you. They, yeah. they they're in an environment they don't even know that they're in it. Yeah. The way they the way they let you know that they're in that environment is when they when they complain about trivial things. Yeah. So that's number one. The other thing is try and try and see things from other people's perspectives. You know, in in this case, my my wife's right. To my my wife would say things is a big deal to her, and for her, it was a big deal. And like I just said, I wanted it to be a big deal for her. And also, I'll tell you what. We're talking about firefighters and military and police, but this goes to other non-uniformed jobs as well. If if you can leave your work at work, because you think some you know every job 
there's stresses at every job and you're out there grinding and you're in trouble with the boss or you're trying to get a project fig- figured out and you've got all this stress coming down on you or you've lost money or you've got a huge deal on the table or whatever the case may be if you can isolate your family from that as much as you can and I'm not saying in, to an unhealthy level where you're just not telling them what's going on mm. but bear the burden man bear the burden of that you that you hold to protect your family so yeah um, that's what I think that's what I think we we do our best to protect our family and our loved ones from the darkness the pressure the stress the evil in the world again you don't make them oblivious you don't disconnect f- from them in order to do that but you shield them from it and you bear the burden yourself so that they don't have to bear it as much again you don't want your kids growing up to be spoiled you don't want your wife to be saying if i don't get of a latte this morning i no. will absolutely not even <laughs> right you don't want to be married to that person yeah not even I did that pretty good didn't I <laughs> one of my middle daughter is like the funniest person ever and she can do all these crazy I ste- I'm stealing her material right there because right she'll do that she'll yeah, say yeah. she'll say that is so oh my god it's not even <laughs> you know and she's kidding because she knows that there's human beings like that in the it's, world that say not even yeah. there's nothing at the end of it uh, yeah I've completing never heard sentences that. I think that might be something new oh. that's not even you know I've heard I can't even. Well, oh, I can't even. Oh, it's the same thing. Same thing. Yeah, yeah. Some updated. Yeah. New age. Just, just a different angle on it. <laughs> but yeah, hey, thanks for uh, thanks for doing all that hard work, man. That's um, that's awesome. I know I see firefighters, police officers, military people all the time. I hear yeah. from all the time, and yeah, try and shield your family as much as you can. Don't drag them down the down into the darkness with you. Yeah, it seems like a good way. And take pride in it. That's what I was gonna exactly what I was gonna say. Mm. It's like take pride in it's like embracing the role as like the captain kind of thing. Yeah, you know where it's like yeah, you know, wife's mad about you know they put cream in her coffee and she asked for non fat milk. <laughs> That's from Seinfeld, by the way. Um, and you know whatever, and she's pissed. And meanwhile, you know, you just pulled a lady out for three hours. By the way, mm. uh, bus and car crash, head on collision. So it's you know you embrace the role. It's like okay, you know, boom! I'm dealing. Off, uh, one second I'm dealing with straight up life and death and kids and accidents and tragedy, and then one second later I'm dealing with essentially nothing. Right. But it's my wife's feelings. That's what I'm dealing with. My wife's feeling. I'm not dealing with nonfat milk versus cream. I'm not dealing with that. I'm dealing with my wife's feelings, and that's part of the job too. So you can't just be like, hey, I'm gonna do my job. One second I'm gonna do my job really good, and the next second. I'm not going to do it so good. You mm. can't do that. Embrace the role as the guy who gets the job done, regardless of how big, how small. So, so as a husband, this is where I can speak from because I've been a husband for <laughs> eight years um, successfully because I'm currently a husband too. Uh, so, there'd be, you know how like people have little I'll have things. I'll to check with her on. <laughs> please, please. On check how for, actually check for me are. too because yeah. I need that info too. Anyway, but sh- so, you know how. You know, people, they'll they'll tell you something and then you'll be like, wait, what did you mean by that? You're kind of offended. Like, are you like, are you kind of digging at me or something mm-hmm. like that? You know, like that kind of stuff, even though, you know, kind of they were mm-hmm. right. Like that was a little passive aggressive little comment kind of thing. So every once in a while when I'd experience that, not to say it happens all the time, but if it ever happens, what I do to kind of combat that anger Cause, bro, I'm the kind. I'm the kind where, like, if there's like a. So issue, you're saying passive aggressive from your wife. Yes. And what you would do to combat the anger would be. <laughs> would be. I'm trying to move this story. Embracing. Along. <laughs> no, it's relevant to this though, and important. I think it helps. It okay. totally helps. Where I embrace the role of the the I don't know for lack of better than the captain. You know, embrace the role of the captain. Where sure she's passive aggressive, whatever. You know, maybe I'll over time I'll start to understand more or whatever. But so I am. Im- im- <laughs> Like envision myself as Superman for, and her passive aggressive comments are bullets and they're just bouncing off of me just like bullets off Superman Yeah, that's cool. My life. That's cool until the fact that if you don't react then she's gonna escalate She wants some kind of reaction out of you. Yeah, so sometimes you have to give them some kind of reaction Yeah, otherwise they'll continue to escalate right to a point where you do react. Yes. Yeah uh, uh, So agreed. I learned that a while ago. Yeah, you know, yeah. no reaction is is not 
always good. Right. So, I, and I don't. You mean, gotta say. You gotta say the bullet hits you, and you gotta say, "Oh, that that bullet hurt." Oh, um, <laughs> yeah, I, I should be a little more careful when yeah. the bullets are flying around. That's I, wow. I need to be a little bit more, per, you know, careful of these bullets. They can really hurt me. Right. Gotta but, be careful. But see how your your tone and stuff is like. There's no anger there. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. But that, so that's what I meant. I meant it's just to combat the anger, not the the problem solving thing. That's a whole other thing, as far as I'm concerned. Like if she's passive aggressive or mad about, I don't know, because I put the dish away when it was wet and mm, you know before oh, yeah. I dried it or what. That's not Kill what it was, him. by the way. But I'm just saying, if it's just that's a whole different thing. So if I anger wise the bullets bounce off of me boom i don't get angry then i can start addressing those issues the ones that you're talking about yeah. but i mean to combat the straight up anger yeah keep your emotions in check yeah stifle them. like her insults are <laughs> bouncing off of me like superman it helps check. sometimes most of the time all right next question 